Now, water is universal solvent because of polarity of the molecules. Water can dissolve so many substances that no other solvent can do. There is also a very unique property of water is solvent, solvent растворитель. Red. Универсальный растворитель, растворяет все подряд. Yeah, it's important for our team, yeah. Right. Um, ice and liquid water density. Turns out that ice has lower density than liquid water, which is one and unique material on Earth that has this property. So, if we talk about surface tension, adhesion and cohesion. This is what happens. These properties allow animals like this one stay on the surface of water. It also allows um, water to be rolled into big drops. Most importantly, water molecules can move great distances in, in capillaries, in plants. And this is how we have big trees, because water can climb up along the, the uh, capillaries to the very top of the plants. It also is responsible for circulation of liquid in animals, and us too, and humans. Это понятно или перевести? Нет, по понятному. Да? Yeah. Благодаря этим yeah. свойствам вода поднимается до верхушек деревьев. Окей, окей. Я вам настолько. Окей. So this is the uh, how it works over here because of um, adhesion to capillaries to the walls of the thin tubes. Water can go up and uh, go up very long distances. So this is just a little picture to tell you how it works. Water comes of course from the earth uh, where the roots are and along the capillaries which go along uh, the whole tree it gets to the leaves up in the treetops. Right? Okay. No, okay. Now, what is now? How high-specific heat helps us? Uh, uh, high-specific heat is the высокая удельная теплоёмкость. We need a lot of heat to raise temperature. Of we need a lot of heat to raise temperature of water by one degree Celsius. This. Um, is because a lot of energy is required to break hydrogen bonds. So water resists temperature change. When water is heated, most of the heat is used to break hydrogen bonds. And this is why it is happening. Consequences of that is that the water serves as a buffer. And we can exist, we can live on our planet comfortably because, guys, are you listening? Because the temperatures are uh, moderated by water. And we know it, we live in the middle of water. Our uh, peninsula is uh, very far in the ocean, and we know that if on the continent it's hot, it's actually cool here. And if it's very cold on the continent part, it is much warmer on a, where we live. And in Moscow, it's probably not, not true. You have probably bigger difference in temperatures. But if you would live in the, in the ocean, you would know that you have ocean working as a thermal buffer. On a small scale, water in cell can absorb much heat with little change of temperature, which, help, which helps animals and plants to survive. 
and again on larger scale water in the ocean as uh, acts as a ter thermal buffer for the earth what what is the importance of high heat of operation high uh, heat of operation is amount of heat required for one gram of substance to be converted from a liquid to gas <coughs> Again, because of enormous energy needed to break hydrogen bonds, um, a lot of heat is consumed before, before water is evaporated. Why is this important for us? You know that people and animals sweat, and this leads to... Um, this leads to cooling. So when we sweat, we cool. And this is very effective because a lot of heat is lost. So we are cooled down. На то, чтобы испарить воду, требуется огромное количество энергии. Поэтому когда тепла, поэтому когда возникает пот у человека или у животного, выделяется пот и он испаряется, тепло тела уходит и мы охлаждаемся. A little bit about water being universal solvent, uh, universal restorative. A lot of substances are dissolved in water because of uh, water molecules being polar. We will be talking about it more because our topic is topic of this class is impurities in water. So, in order for us to understand... This is the bell. Oh, problem. In order for... Okay, okay. In order for us to understand how impurities get into water in the first place, we need to know the mechanism of how water molecules help uh, various compounds to be to get into solution, all right? Um, I'm not going to s to spend a lot of time on this. I have text, but let me get the text up together with the picture. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you more about this. Uh, what you need to take away from this particular slide is that the fact that water molecules are polar helps water to dissolve other substances. Okay? We're clear on this for now. And this is more details which again we probably don't need right now. Uh, we have sodium ion and chlorine ion from table salt, uh, sodium chloride. And you can see molecules of water which are turned to positive ion with their negative sides right here and to negative ion with their positive sides. And this is the process that leads to solution of salt in water. Is it clear? Just a moment. Okay. No. No? We don't need don't no need, need to translate it. Okay. okay. It's Sounds clear. Good. Okay, it's moving along. Okay, so why, now this is the last property of water which I want to, start <coughs> to um, focus on. Very important, water molecules in ice are farther apart than the molecules in liquid water. So you can see on the left the structure of ice and you can see that there is big holes, big holes around here between molecules. And in water, molecules are closer together. This is fundamentally important property of water, that ice has less density than water. So I want everybody to think about that for one second. Ice has less density. It actually floats on surface of water. I'm sure all of you know this. I don't know if you thought about
about this. First and foremost, water is the only substance in nature that has this property. Lucia Matos, please report to the guidance office. Lucia Matos to the guidance Sorry. office. Um, normally, all solids has less density and sink in liquid. So, when ice, in, in winter, when we have ice in lakes and rivers, it stays on the top. And this is how um, life in ponds and lakes survive. Right? Because if ice would be sinking down into the into water, into lakes, it would be frozen from top to bottom. Нет, я не об этом. Это не об этом. Это о том, что лед плавает на воде, и поэтому, когда водоем замерзает, он замерзает только с поверхности, и рыбы и все животные внутри переживают зиму. Иначе не было бы жизни на земле, если бы если бы лед не плавал. Тогда бы замерзала вся вода, и жизни бы никакой не было. Окей, okay, right. такие одеяла практически на воде, Uh, this is a little bit more details about this, so explaining a little bit in more details that we probably ever need for this class, that um, most substances increase in density uh, as temperature decreases, and only water um, has it in, in reverse. Um, distance between molecules of water in ice is... Um, larger than distances in liquid water. Okay. Guys, why don't you wait? Uh, we will have to say goodbyes, guys. So please wait, wait. Uh, our students need to go. Guys, I, I really, I need to go. So you guys say, say goodbye. Say thank you. Thank you. If you need passes, please write us a pass.